you're fired. Have you ever heard those words? Today, we're going to take a look at how to avoid being canned. Now, I've got two images that I want you to take a look at. And I want you to be brutally honest with yourself and identify which image you most relate to. Now, this is actually a tough choice. There are no alternatives to choose from. You can't say, well, I'm somewhere in the middle. You have to select one of these two images. Unfortunately, in reality, most people identify with the second image. So we want to take a look at how to avoid being perceived like that second image so that you can ensure your position remains solid. So let's take a look at some of the factors that you can utilize to guarantee, uh, I can't say guarantee, that might be a little strong, but let's just say uh, make it highly unlikely that you're the person uh, who's going to hear those dreadful words, you're fired. So number one, everything that you do at work, you should approach with passion. Have you put the kind of energy, spirit, vitality, enthusiasm into your projects, into your um, programs, your uh, relationships with your clients, your customers, your vendors? Uh, by demonstrating your, your passion, you are more likely to earn the respect of all of those around you. Number two is you want to be an influencer. Now, there are some people who believe that to become an influencer is almost innate within somebody. You're born with it. But if you take a conscientious effort, you can be involved in demonstrating your viewpoints, uh, very well thought out, very well founded on projects, programs, opportunities, challenges, and issues, so that you can be reviewed or thought of as a thought leader. Number three, are you authentic? Are you a real person? Now, that comes naturally to some people, but there are a large number of people who feel that every time they turn around, they have to be politically correct. They are afraid of insulting or offending anyone. So the net result is that they end up offending everyone. They are afraid to make a stand and so people recognize that almost immediately whether you are an authentic, genuine, and real person. Number four, you had better stay current and contemporary in the marketplace. I deal with senior level executives every single day and well over 90 percent of them have failed to keep themselves current and contemporary on new business paradigms and new career paradigms. The classic example, which I have discussed in numerous videos, is social media. I find I spend more of my time educating senior level executives on the power, influence, and importance of social media. If you fall behind, if you are stuck in a comfort zone from years ago, Guaranteed you are going to be on that list to hear those words, you're fired. Number five, be a problem solver. If you want to guarantee that you're going to be fired, just start whining and complaining about everything. If you see something that you don't like, that you have issues with, don't complain about it, but rather find a solution to it. Problem solvers are winners, and problem solvers are the ones that are kept in the organization. Number five, take initiative. Initiative is a powerful word. And those people who start new projects, uh, whether that's in manufacturing or engineering or product development or pursue new business development opportunities, are those who are perceived as having value to the organization. If you are a follower in everything that you do and you wait for other people to give you direction on everything, then you're going to be at the top of the list when it comes down to being fired, downsized, or consolidated. Um, you want to avoid that if at all possible. 
Number seven, approach life and your work with a sense of urgency. You know, there are some times, and what I'm about to be going to say can be argumentative with some people, but I have a philosophy that if you want to get something done, find a busy person. The busy person will always find a way to put into their schedule something that is important or imperative or relevant to the organization. The people that I am somewhat uncomfortable with are the ones who have a perfectly clean desk without a single piece of paper on it. Yet when they're given a project or something to pursue, it seems like those people are the ones who can never find the time to complete that one project. So approach your business with a sense of urgency. And last but not least, number eight is give more than expected. I don't care what your job description says. You want to identify ways that you can contribute to the organization. And by going beyond your traditional expectations, and finding new opportunities, new challenges, new ways that you can uh, bring value to the organization, you are more likely to preserve your position. So think very carefully about the things that we've gone over here. There are some people that um, just simply cannot adapt to the new paradigms, the new opportunities, the new challenges within an organization. They fall into that comfort zone and can never break out of it. Those are the people whose jobs are at risk. So I wish you the best of success. Hang in there. Uh, you will be a survivor. You'll make it through. Now, I represent senior level executives who are looking for new challenges. If there's any way that I can be a benefit to you in your search for a new opportunity, I would love the opportunity to talk with you.